This year they closed down the Tibetan tea house at the bottom of our road and it became a private house. And I thought, well, that's a pity. No more singing bowl meditations, no more monks visiting and making huge sand mandalas. So I was rather delighted when I heard that this year there was going to be a sand mandala and it was being made in the Sandstown Museum. Here we are at the entrance to the Sandstown Museum and inside there was a monk making a small sand mandala. Notice the copper tube which he's going to use to distribute the sand. The monks explained that according to the Tibetan Buddhist tradition, a mandala is an imaginary palace that is contemplated during meditation. Each object in the palace has significance, representing some aspect of wisdom or reminding the meditator of some guiding principle. Mandalas, therefore, are chiefly realizations of symbolic process experienced as a visionary image of deities emerging only for the duration of the pictorial meditation before being once more dismissed into the void. Guide explains that um, every tantric system has its own mandala and thus each one symbolizes a particular existential and spiritual approach. This one is Chenrezig, embodies enlightened compassion. It is because of these important factors at this time of disharmony in the world which monks may choose to construct the sacred mandala of Chenrezig, praying, praying that it may plant a seed of compassion in all viewers and adding prayers for world peace. Several monks are working in shifts over several days to make this mandala. And you can see the local people um, come to sit in silence and watch or to meditate as the mandala is being made. The donation box rather charmingly asks for donations for Tibetan monks and scientists. This year I missed the final ceremony when after four days of patient shift work by the monks all the coloured sands are swept up and taken down to the Seaforth beach um, to be cast into the sea where the water is carrying the healing energies throughout the world. Finally, for all our interest and our donations we are left with a thank you message from Tibet.